Yeah. Yeah. What's good, YouTube fam? Uh, we back with another video. Um, I seen this video requested in the comments by somebody. I forget who it was. I shot you out. But um, this video really gonna be my uh my journey, my journey of how I went D1, um, high school recruiting. Uh, I'm gonna put some younger young me highlights, some young Kai highlights in here. Um, all that. You know what it took what it takes and um you know just just to motivate anybody who wants to end up going d1 and you know i'm gonna just tell my story tell my journey everybody's journey is different everybody's story is different um you know so uh yeah that's really the video um let's get to it fun fact i didn't start playing tackle football until what was it sixth grade until sixth grade but I did play some flag, um, so my pops, you know, my pops being in the league, I always wanted to, you know, grow up and, and play ball. That's that's what I wanted to do. But when I was younger, he didn't want to put me in tackle because, you know, it's dangerous and whatever, whatever. My, he was trying to look out. He was trying to he was trying to save me from uh, not getting hurt and whatnot. So I uh, he put me in flag football. And in flag football, I was like the biggest dude on the field. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was I was one of the bigger kids and you know, so it was kind of just like it just came natural to me. Uh, I played quarterback, I played a little bit of running back, a little bit of receiver. I can't throw anymore though, unfortunately. I can't throw anymore at all. But, um, yeah, flag football, flag football was cool. It taught me a lot, it was a learning experience. Um, you know, my first time being out there against kids and running around and, and whatnot. So, yeah, started with flag. Stopped playing flag football and when I was like, maybe like nine, 10 nine or ten or eleven I'm, those that those dates might be wrong but those that age might be wrong but i'm not sure and then i didn't end up playing football again until i was in sixth grade um sixth grade football i was i was trash i was terrible i didn't know what i was out there doing um because i had never really played tackle football before i was just out there just you know what i'm saying just running around just <laughs> dropping balls doing all this stuff for those for those who are starting to play football seventh seventh grade sixth grade all that you know it's not how you start so you could be out there and you're not very good at the moment right now but i'm telling you, you work you work and you and you keep confidence in yourself and you work it's you're gonna go a long way um but it's not gonna come easy and for me it's it's, it's not gonna come natural especially with pads on so sixth grade seventh grade was kind of me kind of learning to play the game uh because i didn't really know and i wanted to be a receiver but i was so big and they didn't think i could be a receiver and all this so yeah boom we fast forward to eighth grade eighth grade is when i really started picking it up You know, I really started picking up how to how to play ball, how to hit, how to catch. All that. Um, 
And don't get me wrong, though, I dropped a lot of balls in eighth grade. You can ask, you can ask all my teammates in eighth grade. Yeah, I, it was it was bad. It was kind of bad. Um, but you know, I had to learn. I had to I had to keep going, and I had to continue to uh, strive. You know what I'm saying? Strive for what I wanted to be. Eighth grade went good. Eighth grade, I played with my boy Derek Stingley. Uh, Y'all might know him. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, play for the Texans now, but me and D Sting was like them dudes on a team, on an eighth grade team. We would go back and forth, scoring touchdowns. He he had more touchdowns than me. I'll admit, he had a lot more than me. But I was still out there balling though. Um, we played for Dun the Dunham Tigers in eighth grade. You feel me? So, uh, shout out Dunham. Yeah. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Ninth grade year was, it was okay. I made I made varsity ninth grade. Um, didn't start, but was out there a little bit playing. Uh, my first touchdown ever. Uh, I remember this play, like it was yesterday. We was playing, uh, I think it was like Christian Oaks, one of those schools. We was up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We was, we was up, so they, we had the time to put put some of the younger guys in, put some of the freshmen in. So I'm in the game, I run a corner route. My boy, Mike Williams, shout out Mike, man. Uh, back when he was playing quarterback at 260, threw a dime, threw a dot. Ugh. Back in the end zone, touchdown, first touchdown of my career. And I posted a picture on Instagram uh, right after that said this only the beginning and this one I had zero offers I didn't have no offers my my freshman year of high school um, none nada and so freshman season ended and we had a, there was a school in Baton Rouge that a lot of dudes went D1 out of and Dunham was a smaller school you know um, not many guys made it uh, D1 out of Dunham uh, it was just kind of like a rare thing because it was more of an educational, um, you know, preppy school. So it didn't have a lot of football talent. So we was bad at Dunham. We uh, our, we played uh, my last game at Dunham. We got beat 45-7. And I think I had the only touchdown that game. I think I did. Not to not to brag, not to brag or boast, but you know what I'm saying. I had the only touchdown that game. Year after that, my sophomore year, um, there was a school called University Lab. LSU's laboratory school and uh, you know I wanted to get more exposure and I wanted because I had no offers at this time my boy Derek was you know he was racking them up you feel me so I'm, I'm like damn I'm kind of behind I need to, I need to get some offers you know and uh and University Lab U High was a school that you know put out a lot of dudes that was going D1 so one of the hardest decisions I've ever made bro just you know transferring schools, leaving all my homies, leaving all my friends to go to this new school that I, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't I didn't know how it was gonna go, you know? So I transferred to U High um, my sophomore year. I had to sit out that year because of transferring stuff in Baton Rouge and Louisiana. It works all weird. Junior year comes around. Junior year was, was really my money year in high school. Uh, junior year was, I had a good year. I had a good year. It was my first year with the team. I came in starter, uh, had a touchdown and an interception, my first ever game. Uh, with you high um, and had a good season. We ended up going to the state championship that season and winning um, where I had one of the best plays of my career. Um, it was it was fourth and 10, I think, or fourth and six or something like that. Championship game, we down three, we down seven. And um, I, run a, I run a curl route. My boy JG, shout out JG. My boy JG throws a those uh, uh those that kind of outside because the DB was kind of on me to the inside and it was a little it was a little far so I had to I had to reach back ah. brought that hole in first down uh, crowd went crazy crowd went crazy uh and yeah 
that was uh that kind of was like the start of you know where I really started you know getting exposure and, and getting out there um and like I said like I started off in sixth grade not really knowing what I was doing at all like I was just another kid out there you know but I worked me and my pops worked we grinded we practiced uh, we put in a lot of work you know and I felt like that moment it kind of all came together um, and so that my junior summer that summer after junior year I picked up about like 20 some D1 scholarship offers um, and I ended up having a total of I don't remember what the number was I don't remember what the number was I'll, I'll figure it out um, I remember having a total it was it was it was it was some some good offers it was a good amount um, and that summer going into my senior year I committed to University of Georgia um, and senior year I think it was week four I think we're playing Zachary Zachary high and I caught a bubble and I was running on the sideline and I, and I got hit I dropped my shoulder to hit one dude another dude came and hit me right in my leg right in my calf area and I felt like a pop I felt a pop when that happened and uh, and it I, I didn't know really what, what was going on so I was trying to I tried to I tried to take a step and it just wasn't feeling right so I kind of limped off the field and sat down on the bench I'm like my leg my my calf is hurting like it's real I feel like it's real tight um, and so that game ended I ended up having a touchdown before I got hurt That game ended and I got an MRI and I, uh, an X-ray, and I, uh, I figured out that I had broke my fibula in my right leg. Um, and that hurt, bro. That hurt, man, because it was, you know, senior year, this was the money year. I just committed to Georgia. I was having a good season so far. It was only week four. That hurt. That hurt. Um, so I had to sit out for, I, don't, I think it was four weeks or, four, or six weeks. Uh, four or five weeks and I came back the the semifinal game um, I was limping a little bit out there running and the doc said you know whatever I could just whatever I could bear I could go because it was it was healing and I couldn't really injure it more unless I got a shot right to it so I went out there um, and played two games on the hurt fibula and then we made it to the championship game another year so we back in the Superdome um, versus De La Salle, who was a really good team that year, had a really good quarterback, Caleb Holstein, that's my boy. Shout out Caleb, he was slinging it all year. It was a close game, it was close, but we won, we beat him, we got him. Um, I, I had a touchdown at the end of that game. I had actually stopped recording and went to go hoop with my roommate and he cut me on my face <laughs> because he don't know how to play defense. And yeah, that's why I got to cut on my face and that's why I'm in different clothes. But anyway, back to the story. Finished my high school career, 13 and 0, uh, with a touchdown and it was dope. It was dope, we won a state championship. That was the second year in a row. And uh, yeah, it was turn. And then I signed to University of Georgia. Um, we had a lot of dudes sign that year out of my class. Out of, uh, out of U High University Lab. We had uh, me, Christian, Mike, Jordan, uh, Donald. We had a bunch of dudes. Brighton, we had a bunch of dudes sign. We, had, we all had a little ceremony thing in the, um, in the basketball arena. And it was dope, man. Um, and off to Georgia I went. Uh, I wore number 19 at Georgia. I wasn't in nine, unfortunately. Um, and Georgia, it was a good experience. It taught me a lot about myself. It taught me a lot about life. It taught me a lot about, you know, that sometimes you got to deal with struggles and sometimes things not going to go your way. They're not going to go your way completely and uh, that you just got to keep your head up. And, and that's what I did. Um, it didn't really work out at Georgia like I wanted it to. Um, so I ended up in the transfer portal and I transferred to Oregon State, as some of you know. Um, and uh, I've loved it ever since, man. It's, it's been good. It's been good to me. Um, 
but even even out the portal i had to deal with some adversity and deal with some um some trials and tribulations um, i had tore my meniscus last year 2021 season um i played in six games i played in the first six games and i tore my meniscus going into cow week in practice and uh that was hard man uh, it was hard i don't i don't wish a knee injury on nobody um, for those of you that know it's you know it's a it's a hard recovery post-surgery is tough you can't walk you're on crutches it's just bad it's bad but you know I grinded that summer this past summer going into this most recent season I was grinding man we was I was out there running I was doing a lot of drills shout out Travis my uh my trainer shout out Travis bro he got me right he got me right got my leg back healthy um and yeah and then 2022 season uh played in all what we played 13 games 12 games played in all 12 13 games um had a decent year could have been better could have been better on my part um on the team part too you know we, we we lost a few games that we shouldn't have but ended with a civil war dub and we bust florida in the bowl game so that was turn um you know and uh for those for those of you that don't know i actually switched positions i uh, i played wide out and now i'm playing inside backer um and i played defense in high school uh, and i had a lot of scholarship offers to play defense so it's it's not uh not completely new to me but um we're gonna see how it goes and i'm excited man i'm excited to uh to make plays and go win this pac 12 championship <laughs> that's the goal um but that's really it man that's that's my journey up until now uh a lot more left to do um a lot more money to make a lot more plays to make and uh yeah and just for anybody i hope this i hope this motivates you know inspires anyone who wants to who wants to go d1 or even d2 or d3 it don't matter bro just you know everybody got their separate journey everybody got their separate um separate trials separate adversities that they're gonna face along their path uh to get where they want to get to so um i appreciate y'all for watching um more content coming soon got a lot of off-season stuff coming um and uh yeah let's grow like subscribe all that youtube stuff you know and uh yeah i'll see y'all on the next one